the eastern red cedar tree is taking over the Oklahoma landscape. The eastern red cedar tree invasion is probably our biggest conservation issue in the state of Oklahoma. We lose, it's been estimated, 800 acres per day of land in Oklahoma to eastern red cedar invasion. Jay Pruitt with Oklahoma's Nature Conservancy says in the next few years, if something is not done to control the spread of these trees, more than a third of Oklahoma's landscape will be covered by the red cedar. He says there are a number of issues related to the spread of this tree. Uh, these trees are very volatile. They contain volatile oils so that if fire gets near them, they almost explode. So they're a real fire hazard. Uh, they take over ground like this, no grass underneath, so they take land away from uh, pasture land that could be used for grazing. Pruitt says the trees are spreading because birds get a hold of these berries containing seeds. The trees end up in places outside of their natural habitat, and that's causing conservation groups great concern. They're recommending that landowners in Oklahoma get rid of the trees before they become a problem. Prescribed fire is one way to keep them off of your property or to get rid of them when they're small. Once they get big, though, you've got to mechanically remove them or do something else to get rid of them. Now, because these trees are native to Oklahoma, conservationists in no way want to get rid of them completely. There are preserves, such as the one here in Sand Springs, where there are trees up to 500 years old. In other places of the state uh, in which they don't normally occur, they are occurring now because there is no wildfire or prescribed fire there to keep them in check. So they have grown out of their natural habitat and are spreading over the rest of the Oklahoma landscape, sort of like a pretty cancer. Pruitt says there is a lot of research being done looking for ways to use red cedar. The best option, he says right now, is to turn it into mulch. In Osage County, Angela Rosecrans, The Oklahoma News Report.